Happening right now in Taiwan, vote counting is underway to determine the island's next leader in an election that's being closely watched by Beijing and Washington. Polls closed this morning after nearly 20 million people cast ballots. China warned choosing the frontrunner and current vice president, who has championed himself as the defender of Taiwan's democratic way of life, could set the stage for war. Elizabeth Palmer has more after traveling just outside Taipei. Taiwanese voters cast their ballots on Saturday at thousands of polling stations up and down the island. The campaign has been democracy in action, with lively rallies and a tight three-way presidential race. But there's another man who's been a huge player in this election, and he doesn't even live here. He's China's leader, Xi Jinping. In his New Year's address, Xi repeated his claim that Taiwan belongs to China, and it will be, as he put it, reunited. We accompanied 20-something Joanne Kuo, our Taiwanese fixer, to cast her vote. She, like so many young people here, dreads a Chinese takeover. Could you live in a Taiwan ruled by the Chinese Communist Party? Absolutely not. I don't see that, how that can fit. Taiwanese people's values our democracy, our freedom. All the main parties support expanding Taiwan's military with billions in U.S. help to deter a Chinese invasion. But war is a very real risk. We know that we are not equals when it comes to military force. The polls have now closed and counting is underway. Official results show an early lead for the incumbent DPP, the party that most explicitly rejects Chinese claims on Taiwan. A DPP victory would thrust Taiwan into uncharted waters. For CBS Saturday Morning, Elizabeth Palmer, Taichung, Taiwan.